everybody, this is Card Devo, and uh, I'm in Phoenix. We're starting our journey to Apostle, to uh, the book bear out there. As you can see, I'm in Mr. Moyer's car. Everything's packed. Snacks, drinks, all our books are loaded. Uh, we are heading, we're driving to El Paso directly um, to set up, and uh, there's Mr. Moyer's behind me. Uh, Bunny Media 17. Bunny, Bunny 17 Media. Hey, Come on, man. don't judge. Your books, you can't even get it right. Hey, it's <laughs> it's six o'clock in the morning, and I haven't had coffee yet. So, uh, I think my publisher is about to fire me on the way. If you don't hear from me later on, he dumped my ass on the side of the road somewhere, <laughs> which uh, will probably be over in New Mexico. So it's my people. So I'm not I'm not scared. Um, but if you are in El Paso, Texas, and uh, are available this evening, Friday, September 10th, 10th I knew that. <laughs> so Friday, September 10th, come and join us. Look, we are in color coordinated. Oh my That's, goodness. Uh, <laughs> but today... I'll be birthing soon. To, <laughs> tomorrow is Saturday. <laughs> That's where we're really going. We're going to give birth to Mr. Moyer's child. Um, it is not my love child. Because no. for me, it's all hate. So it's, <laughs> it's more like gas. Uh, but if you're available today, Friday, September 10th, tomorrow the 11th, and Sunday the 12th, uh, check local listings and just look for uh, El Paso Convention Center and you'll see all the event details. And I'll give them more to you later. But we're going to hit the road. And uh, again, as you can see, we're packed and loaded. Snacks, drinks, books. Uh, more importantly, the books. Uh, we'll be signing books. We'll be chatting with you. Hey, if you come by the booth, I have my cards. You might even get a, a card reading. So how's that? Um, anything? Table 831. When you go in, straight up the middle. There you go. Table Perfect. 831. That's the lucky number. So A, letter A. Oh, A. Obviously, I can't. Eat, I can't speak. I can't remember things, and I can't hear this morning. So um, <laughs> this is going to be a fun ride. Uh, Thank goodness I'm driving. Yes, that, that's a good thing. But yes, so uh, Car Debo uh, with uh, Grumpy Bunny. You guys have been following me along. Thank you so much. But if, again, if you're in El Paso, come by. Uh, bring us some chicos tacos and uh, buy a book, and we'll see you guys there later. Later. We are crossing New Mexico line after one bathroom stop, one gas break, one traffic stop, <laughs> a stop at McDonald's. We are crossing. If you are a uh, Watching this, which I'm trying to. There we go. So, uh, I'm trying to show you a little bit of the uh, beautiful New Mexico. Well, right now you're looking at me. First, look at the old Mexican, <laughs> and look at New Mexico. How dare you, sir? <laughs> Mr. Moyers has been driving the whole time. Why we got pulled over. Which is why we got pulled over. Why did we get pulled over, Mr. Moore? I might have been going a little fast. Might have. We can either confirm or deny. <laughs> just in case this makes it to court or something. My lawyer said not to uh, give details. No details. But uh, <laughs> Officer Mann uh, was very nice. Yeah. Uh, but here's some... Uh, if you've never been through New Mexico, here's some of the New Mexico hills and a truck driver. But we're scheduled to make it to El Paso about 2 o'clock? Yeah, about 2 o'clock uh, Central Time. 2 o'clock Central Time. Is that right? Or Mountain Time? And mountain Time. Mountain Time, yes. sure. El Paso Time. Yes. Uh, so we're going to be in El Paso about 2, about two o'clock El Paso Time. Uh, one of the important things to do in El Paso is Chico's Tacos. Uh, I, I need a water burger. Come visit us at the El Paso Civic Center at booth A 
831. 831, I knew that. <laughs> I'm just testing him. So come check us out at booth 831 uh, tonight from 5 to 9. Tonight is Friday, September 10th. Yeah. Thank you for helping me with that. <laughs> Obviously, he doesn't understand my pauses. Oh, no, I was just waiting to see if he How does. dare you, sir, to question my knowledge. Uh, so tonight, Friday, September 10th, El Paso's Convention Center, booth 831. Come by and check us out. Uh, it's the El Paso Comic Con Book Fair. We have uh, comics, books, stories, and basically like the launch of Grumpy Bunny everybody we just crossed into Texas and uh, let me show you because uh, obviously you want to drive into Texas and jump into your nearest water park which is closed <laughs> which is sad but so there's no there's not gonna be any getting wet and wild here buddies mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Moyers again has been driving non-stop uh, oh there we go welcome to Texas Let's check that first. Still only one traffic incident. Pretty good. Yes, but we did see a huge accident. So anybody out there driving, yeah. please be careful. Uh, that's why I don't let him hold the phone. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, would you like to send out an invitation to the folks watching us? Sure. Sure. Uh, Come see us, El Paso Convention Center, table A31. Uh, we're about to get there and start unloading, which is great. And uh, making it just under the wire on that. <laughs> Thanks to the delays, one caused by me. But uh, but yeah, we'll be there tonight. Uh, I believe it's 5 to 9 o'clock. And then tomorrow, 10 to 7, Sunday, and to six, and we'll have books, journals, sketchbooks. If you're the creative type, come see us. Um, doing deals on those, and yeah, we'll have fun. And if you've been following me, the Car Depot, then you know that I'm gonna have a deck of cards with me too. So maybe if you buy anything, I'll pull a card for you. So make sure you stop by. Plus, I'm really excited because, like I said in the other videos, it's the like the official launch of Grumpy Bunny and the Colors Game. I almost forgot the name of my own book. <laughs> um, <laughs> Grumpy Bunny and the Colors Game has been sold, has been selling online, but this is the first time we take it out uh, for a hop. Ah, see what I did there? Um, so make sure you come out and check us out plus check out all of the collections from uh money 17 media uh we have a huge collection of stuff plus you get to meet us what better than that that right there should be the only excuse you need to come out and and check us out go look at the el paso convention center website under events you'll find it there it'll give you prices and, and such but we hope to see you there come out tonight uh friday september 10th through Sunday, September 12th. See you there. Bye. So we just wrapped up the first day of Comic-Con El Paso. And although we only worked technically from 5 to 9, it just seemed like a long afternoon. But maybe because we drove all the way from Phoenix this morning. Um, long day, but it was really exciting. First of all, it was exciting to be in an event with Mr. Moyers. Second, as it's all dark, can you see me now? I'm back in the light. Second, I'm back in the dark. Second, it was fun to be back at an event like this. For those of you that have known me for a while, know that I do events and promotions. So it was nice to be back. It was nice to be back at an event. So there's Mr. Moyers. Um, good day, good afternoon, yeah, right? Yeah, our uh, best preview night, and, and people who go to cons know that's that kind of short night before the full day start. Could be Thursdays, could be Fridays, but it's our best so far. So, so I 
officially sold my first in-person book uh, to a little boy named Santi uh, who was dressed as Spider-Man, so it was kind of cool. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, the photos are there. But it was really cool to sign my first book in person and sell it. So for those of you who write, probably have a feeling, know what the, excuse me, know what that feels like. Excuse me. Um, but uh, we are in lovely El Paso, Texas, and uh, through the butterflies suicides, <laughs> <laughs> you you can see what, if there's not much of us. El Paso doesn't have much of a downtown as it is. No. Um, but the cool thing is, and usually it's in April, uh, not September, but you know, COVID bumping it back. Uh, usually there's a baseball game going on at the Chihuahua Stadium right next to us. And you can see right into the stadium, and it's a cool little place. One day I'm going to go to a game there after after the con's over. Sweet. If you, I don't know if you can see it, but up in the, on the side of the mountain or the hill is a star. You probably can't see it from here. But <laughs> well, I'm in the dark again. But we'll be back tomorrow at El Paso Comic Con. We'll bring you more videos. Uh, I'll, we'll do some walk-arounds and take some videos of the people in uniform, in uniform, in costume. Uh, thanks, guys, for following us today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, I am, or we are, at Comic Con El Paso here in El Paso, Texas, and we're set up. Here is our booth. You can see right there, uh, 2017 Media right behind me. There we go. Can you see it? Can you see it? And here's Mr. Moyers getting everything arranged. Mm -hmm. um, fixing the sign. Let me show you our signs because we have journals and sketchbooks that we're selling. We've got all kinds of colors and designs. And everybody, it's original artwork. So you can come check it out. As you can see, everything, journals and sketchbooks are 50% off. We also have our collection of books, which is all the adult books, plus Vigilantics, which is the teenage uh, superhero book, Astrofly, which is for the younger kids, and then the kids section of all the books. We're gonna be here uh, today Saturday, September 11th, and then tomorrow, Sunday, September 12th, and you can find this uh, at A31, I'm going to say, so come on, I'm, I'm looking at Mr. Morris, but he's not looking at me, so I think that's the booth, but we're in a corner, we're next to, we're next to the Color Wire, Wired Ladies, we're next to uh, Ivoneta, and we're next to these little ladies that have these wonderful photos so come check us out we're gonna try and show some videos later of like what's going on here some of the costumes uh, some of the things that are happening because there's a lot of really interesting booths there's uh, people are obviously in costumes it's a comic-con it's a comic-con here possible and I, I was surprised yesterday by how many people were in costumes so you need to come check them out. Hi, come see us. 2017 Media. You know, like right here at El Paso Comic Con, table A31. And happy birthday to Casey. Come buy some of her books. She's 13 today. And these are Casey's books. The search for the book of the Guardians, the Big Bird Brothers, Titan's Reign, and The Last Unicorn. They're four books in a series and and then of course you can find the Grumpy Bunny, uh, the Possum Journal and the sketchbook and journal for Astrofly. And here's our uh, Jack. Jackaloop. <laughs> so come see us. We'll see you later. Hey folks, so we are almost at the end of day two. We're like an hour away. We're shut down. And uh, Mr. Moyers is right here. We had a pretty good day. Uh, if you're in El Paso, 
and you didn't come out here, you still have tomorrow from 10 to 6 to come by. Um, this is my book, and that's why I'm wearing the t-shirt, for winning the colors game, promoting it. Uh, some good sales. Mr. Moyers is wearing his t-shirt, but he's not sitting down, standing up, so you can't see it. So there's his shirt, and there's the book that goes with it. So you can actually come and get these here. Um, what is your overall impression of today? Uh, I'm surprised at how many people were out, which it was nice, and it was good. Our first convention back in almost two years with everything going on. So, uh, yeah, I'm having fun. I, I enjoy it. Look, I match the sign that's very wrinkly behind us. <laughs> <laughs> but so is he, so it, it kind of goes wrong. Well. than the sign. Yes. One of the cool things about it is that even if, when there wasn't a an event last year, people remember him and remember his stories, yeah. which is really kind of cool. So for all of you potential writers out there, uh, know that people will remember your writing, and if they like it, they will ask you for more. So don't stop at one if you're good. Right. Keep going. So there will be a second bunny book uh, in the series because I enjoyed writing it, people like it, and I want to put it out there. I want to put more stuff out there. So look for that. Plus, coming out soon is a game, a card game mm -hmm. called. Oh, well, I'm not releasing that yet. Oh, not yet. It's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. Never mind. And then, <laughs> and then I've got a deck coming out, and um, I have a name, but I keep changing it every week. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till I. So it's out, but look for those games coming out pretty soon, plus some other material that we're working on. But um, again, if you're in El Paso or near El Paso and you missed it today, Saturday, September 11th, don't worry. One more day, 10 to 6 on Sunday, September 12th. Come and join us. Um, it'll be fun. Bring money. Spend yeah. lots. Um, <laughs> sketchbooks and journals, 50% off. And you get a pencil with it. So, we're better than that. Anyway, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hey everybody, so it's day three here in El Paso for Comic Con. And, uh, this is pretty awesome. Uh, you can see Mr. Morris is very delicately placing all the journals and sketchbooks making a beautiful star design that he has created and trademarked. <laughs> Just so everybody can mess it up in 20 minutes. Yes, <laughs> we, we do this so people can have the enjoyment of looking through them. Yeah. But we have some pretty cool, if you are not like following us on uh, Bunny17 Media, these are journals, yeah. like a macaroni oh, journal. Who doesn't want a macaroni yeah. journal? This is a sketchbook, and then these are all the paperback. That's Mr. Moyer's butt. Good morning, welcome. So we got people showing up. So we have our first guest of the morning. It's 10 a.m. in El Paso uh, for Comic Con, and we're very fortunate because we have some cool neighbors next to us. Sometimes you don't get that luck. But this is their artwork. It is so cool. Oh, I'm, a, I'm a TikTok. I'm just videotaping. The, our neighbor doesn't want to be on TikTok. So this is our neighbor. Sloppy Brush. Make sure you follow them. Here's their information on the back of the card. I totally dig them because one of our neighbors and I had a little feud going on. I don't know if it will be resolved by the time this is over. But this is their artwork and they do really awesome stuff. So. Yeah. Check these out. Here, hang on a second. Hold on. Hold. So just so you know, when you come to one of the Comic Cons, you don't just like get one thing. There's t-shirts and stickers and posters and all kinds of stuff. So make sure you come out. So if you're in El Paso and today, September 12th, Sunday, come out, hang out. There are people in costumes. 
Uh, I know there's events going on, so come check it out. Anyway, uh, Daniel G. Garza for uh, my page, <laughs> Cardivo. Come check us out. See you later. So we just crossed from Texas to New Mexico and uh, three days in El Paso for Comic-Con. It was good. Uh, we met a lot of cool people, sold a lot of books. It was my first time promoting Grumpy Bunny and the Colors game uh, out in public. So you can see we are now entering New Mexico. And the land of enchantment. Uh oh, well, speeding fines doubled. <laughs> so, I wonder why I should watch it. Let's that. remember what happened on the way here, Mr. Moyers. Uh huh. That was in Arizona. But it still happened on the way here. They knew that uh, they could collect. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, again, we met some cool people, bought a couple of things, uh, sold some books, ate some food. By the way, if you are in El Paso and you're looking for some like, upskill Mexican food, uh -huh. I guess, uh, tacos and burgers, uh, they have at, what's the name of the place? Crave. Crave. C-R-A-V-E. Crave. Mm -hmm. They have a Cheeseburger thing. I forgot what it's called. Oh, the Fundido, Fundido. cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah that Fundido. was a special. But they change those around and get different ones. So if they have that on sale, Mr. Moyers recommends that. Mm -hmm. Along with the sweet potato waffle fries, they come with a cinnamon marshmallow dip. And it sounds ridiculous, but it's the best thing. He swore by it. Dale and Beaker and I had it in. 2019 when we did this show two and a half years ago we have not about. stopped talking about it and they held up to the status we kept it at. <laughs> and I had the shrimp tacos but here's a tip ask the server to ask the chef to leave the tortillas to crisp a little bit you will not regret it and I didn't have the crema on top only because I don't do dairy but you can get it with that but it, I, don't, I feel like it doesn't need it it did not need it. Just make sure to ask for limes, salt and pepper. You will not regret it. But try it and then go for Menudo at Delicious Mexican Restaurant. Yes. Again, you will not regret it. Best Menudo I've had in a long time. So we will see you when we cross into Arizona.